And welcome back to Like a Dragon. Up over here, we've got a... Got a little Roomba that speaks to us. Hmm? <laughs> Dr. Wily? He clearly said ho ho ho. That man is Santa Claus. about that, sir. Yeah, both. <sighs> yeah, I don't have enough room underneath my rock to uh, have one of these fancy robot vacuums. Wow. This is how you know that life sucks, where we've had to devise robots to clean for us because we have no time for ourselves to clean. Really, the Roomba is social commentary, but it's the <laughs> sneaky kind that nobody really takes recognition of. Yeah, people are just enamored by a, ooh, look, fancy robot cleaning. It's it like, unironically, it's making me think of uh, old commercials that were like, oh, the dishwasher is so amazing. It allows, you know, your wife to do so much more huh? with her time, like dress fancy <laughs> or do her hair more often. <laughs> hey, don't you go knock in the dishwasher. I appreciate not having to, uh... And like half an hour cleaning dishes after I after dinner. Oh, I'm not knocking the dishwasher at all. I just it's just the same sort of <laughs> conclusion. <laughs> wow. wonder wherever this guy will get a million yen. If only the five million sojis he sold had generated any amount of profit. <laughs> Apparently he's counting like his personal uh, wealth in um, the amount of funds he would need to develop this new gigantic soji. Yeah, but like, it's just a million yen. Mm. Yeah, he's short by that much. Yeah, give it. Give your soji sales an extra month. You'll be fine. Better yet, <laughs> maybe put it on the Amazon fucking platform. Yeah. I don't know. Increase brand recognition. But, you know, I guess we do have a lot of money just burning a hole in our wallet. I suppose we could. We could we just, just buy first. everything we want at this restaurant. Oh, maybe I'm not getting a snack. <laughs> yeah. All right, here's your million yen. <laughs> And don't worry, it's real cash. It's it's not we some weird coin that's just going to depreciate like the minute I walk outside this building. <laughs> Here's an NFT of a yeah. lion, buddy. <laughs> I cannot wait for these games to uh, t put their own spin on that. That's 
That fucking nonsense. Anyway, we gotta head over to uh, East Janai Station now, where we get a text from uh, Dr. Wily that uh, the prototype is ready. So let's go meet him. Gotta make sure I get that mini metal before we get shunted off to a cutscene. Whoa! This is the new Soji model? <laughs> Indeed it is! Fresh out of the lab! Are you impressed? Well... I knew it'd be bigger, but this thing's friggin' huge! This will be her maiden voyage into the outside world. But she's quite something, isn't she? I call her... Sojimaru! Sojimaru? That's like naming her cleaning robot. It's my hope that Sojimaru becomes an unofficial mascot of Ichincho. A friendly, easy to remember name goes a long way. Well, with how big the damn thing is, I doubt people will forget it anytime soon. But yeah, friendly's good. That said, I would like to test out some of Sojimaru's features. Are you free at the moment? I don't know why we need to be here for a test run, but sure. Very well. Let's get this trial run underway. Great. Sojimaru, activate test mode. Thank you for waiting, Professor. Okay, then. Activating test mode. Whoa! It talks? Ha ha ha! This is just the tip of the iceberg! Watch this. Sojimaru, read me my fortune for today. Today, you will be cursed with bad luck. Your dog will most likely fight you. Yeesh! I suppose I'll have to be extra careful when I feed my dog. <laughs> okay then, Sojimaru. What can you tell me about today's weather? Today will be slightly cold. Wearing a coat is advised. Now that she mentions it, it is a little chilly. Sojimaru, I'd like some coffee, if you please. Here is your coffee. Caution, beverage may be hot. That's cool as hell. This Sojimaru can do anything, huh? <laughs> exactly. She is fully loaded with all kinds of features. She also has a low-frequency massage mode that makes excellent use of her built-in massage arm. She's great, right? Right? Now then, let's move on to testing her suction capability. Sojimaru, activate cleanup! Activating cleanup. Sensors online. Sojimaru, activating suck. Whoa! She can suck up something that big? You're amazing, Sojimaru. Thank you. I try. Ho ho ho! With Sojimaru in charge, cleanup will be practically instantaneous after citywide events like festivals, Halloween, and soccer matches. I, Sojimaru, will endeavor to help. Even litter might be a thing of the past if this gal's around to pick it up, huh? I agree! For the grand finale, I'll show you her forbidden high power mode that's still a work in progress. Forbidden? It's this thing's first time outside, and you're gonna test out something that's forbidden? Approximately 980 of the lab tests yielded positive results, so that shouldn't be any problems. All right, it's your vacuum. Shall we then? Sojimaru, activate high power mode! Sojimaru, activating high power mode. Hmm? I hear something, but nothing's happening. That's strange. Well, whenever there's a problem, I simply give our friend here a little kick. Sojimaru. Activating. High power. What the hell's it doing? Is that music? Oh, this is terrible! Sojimaru is completely out of control! And yes, that's the healing music that plays during massage mode, in case you were wondering. Yeah, it would be pretty soothing if this shit wasn't happening right now. 
What's this thing's deal? You said it was successful at 980 tests or whatever. Forgive me, it seems I didn't kick the right spot. Hey, my wallet! Shit, that's all my money! I'm kidding. Hey, give it back, you glowy ass hockey puck! Stop! Don't provoke her! Activating sensors. Target detected. Something engaged. Sojimaru, it's me! Stop sucking! More shrub the emergency shut up button! Thieving little fleet bag! Give me back my fish! Kitty! Ready! Get away from there! Preparing to suck. Preparing to suck. This must be what hell looks like. Preparing to suck. Preparing to suck. Lord Trump! Guess we're gonna have to do things my way. Don't stand a chance. Lord Shrub, hurry up and get us out of here. Where's the emergency shutoff button? The one from earlier. Slide the lid from Sojibaru's underside. Input the security pin, then use a flathead screwdriver to remove the screw. This will force a rod into action, and from there you can. You crazy? You place a shut-off button behind all that? I'm just gonna punch my way to it, cool? Mm, my precious Sojimaru! Oh, but I suppose we have no choice. But don't just punch away at the thing, aim for her attachments! Attachments? What attachments? Sojimaru's body is made of special carbon used by the United States military. You couldn't damage it even if you tried! The lids on her left and right side that served you coffee earlier are the most frail. Aim for those and bring her down. Coffee lids on her left and right. Got it. I can't believe this has two coffee filling stations. Yeah, I was gonna say, why did you install two coffee machines onto this thing? <laughs> One only does hot drinks, the other only cold. <laughs> Dude, just install an ice maker on the same side. <laughs> you sure you're gonna be in a world Man, this music is haunting. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we're, we're beating the shit out of a coffee or a giant Don't vacuum cleaner. I'm pretty sure uh, I've shown off the one in like the, uh, the Yokohama sewers that's at the very end. Have we seen that? I think it, I think we have. It's been a long time since either of us have seen that footage though. I'm pretty sure it happens. After. No, you can actually do the entire Yokohama sewers after you get, after you leave the first time, and then you know you fight a giant vacuum Roomba at the end. Oh, then I must be thinking of having done it when a different boss was there first. Possibly. Because the first time I went, it was a different boss, and then it's this boss. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm talking about like what if you if you just had to go back in after you you leave the first time. Mm. Also, this thing is very resistant to bullets, so uh, good, good on Dr. Wily for you know making this thing bulletproof. I guess. Special carbon used by the U.S. military. <laughs> How quick you are to forget. I know. It's also waterproof. Yeah, isn't its weakness electric? It probably is. <laughs> Just another reason uh, why like electric is broken in this game. I don't think I had any electric moves though. It's resistant to a physical. Psycho, now's not the time for a dance. You know, I'm kind of surprised this thing doesn't seemingly doesn't have an attack to just like suck up a party member for like a turn or two. Mm. It's already full. I wouldn't underestimate me. True. You ever feel sometimes like you're on a merry-go-round, but it's broken and you can't get off? Mm, not usually. Oh God! The lid on her backside opened up. Well done, Lord Shrub. This is your chance to strike at the heart. Her battery. Right. I'll keep that in mind. 
You're gonna get All right, let's uh I guess let's pour some ice on the battery. Let's see how that goes. You want to go? <laughs> Not well. <laughs> I got this. Uh I forget if I've explained it or not, but, um, the, uh, Ice Bucket skill is the, one of the class skills of the host class. And that skill that Aerie just did, where she just, like, took out a machine gun and rapidly shot it, her target is the, uh, cross-class skill of the Matriarch class. It's clearly an assault rifle. You know what I mean. It's one of the few multi-class er, multi gun skills, so... Matriarch, real good just for that. Right. <laughs> we'll get a lot of use out of that later. Get a life. Get this out. Come on. Hey. Take your you sure you want to uh. I got this. I got. But yeah, this thing is genuinely kind of annoying to fight just because it has so much defense and resistances. Yep. I don't know if it's weak to electricity now that I've seen uh, Ichiban do his normal attack with that bat. But yeah, this is definitely one of those bosses that like, just kind of, you need to get in and go in prepared or, you know, make sure you get a backup save. Alternately, I guess, make sure you have you're stocked up on healing items and, uh, I don't know, brute, brute force it? Yeah, I mean, yeah. The night's still young, you know. Area cannot believe that worked. Yeah. What is this thing even weak to? Hey man, it's gonna suck so much for the people watching when they realize this is the entirety of this video. <laughs> I swear it's not. Huh? I wouldn't underestimate me. Just some clown music going on. <laughs> right. Take your best shot. Hmm. Apparently, the weakness is electricity. Oh, I'm so sorry! Yeah, again, it's just one of those things where it's like... I, I don't know if if it's possible to program it in. Secret code processing. Verify. You have awakened my true power. What the hell? Did you give this thing some kind of second form, Doc? She's going into hyperpower mode! Stay vigilant, Lord Trump! Hyperpower? Why? It's her next mode after high power mode. It's only supposed to be able to activate with a secret code, but I believe your punches may have triggered it. Who put secret codes in a cleaning robot? Rats! I didn't think our plan would backfire like this. Dr. Wild here is making me think he's, uh, or is reminding me, reminding me a lot of Otacon, except, uh, uh, cleaning robot what, what's the to word? rule them all. <laughs> I think the other thing that really got me when I was playing uh, against Sojimaru was because of the way that the game spaces out your party, or sometimes doesn't space out your party, the attacks it does can really mess with you. Yeah. Like, it has a spinning one that I don't think is, has... Unless I blacked out... Like, there's a pretty unforgivable spinning attack it does. I'm assuming you're talking about the slalom one, and it's only- from so far in this recording, it's only hit like one target at a time. So I think I just got lucky. Probably. I know I've, I've had moments where like, it would either rush a character or just spin and- yeah. That one, but imagine if it was like all four of your characters. Yeah, that would suck. And it's like, I can only no, perfect no guard intended. with one. <laughs> They really should have had the music kind of like die out in a hilarious way. I did it. That would have been great. <laughs> Coming some cool. form of retribution. <laughs> Shutting down. Shutting down. <gasps>
Lord Shrub, I am eternally grateful. You're a hero. What a nightmare. With how big I made her, it was actually quite pleasant. Yes, it wasn't the same for you. <sighs> Go on, take the fish. That was rough on both of us. I suppose I'm still a ways away from practical application. However, Sojimaro's issues are now clear. Time to return to the lab and apply the fix. You bounce back pretty quick after an epic failure, don't you? Sojimaru's my pride and joy. No matter what happens, even if she disappoints me, she's the apple of my eye. And on the plus side, I now know the pleasures of being a giant piece of garbage. I'm starting to wonder about you, Doc. Now, as to the payout for your investment, it uh, seems it'll be a while before we see any profit. You don't say. I know it's not much for compensation, but feel free to rent Sojimaru anytime. Uh, at a discount, of course. Did you say rent? She'd be a riot at parties, don't you think? <laughs> Her AI also specializes in consulting. I'm sure that'll prove useful as well. Well, I should get back to the lab. Lord Shrub, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, this was real swell. <laughs> I'm counting on you to take good care of Sojimaru. Farewell! <clears throat> and away we go! The guy builds a vacuum only to get sucked up by it. Can't say I saw that coming. Huh? I feel like I'm forgetting something. <gasps> My wallet's still stuck in that damn machine! Get back here! Something, something rock connaissance. That's all I know. <laughs> anyway, if we head back up to uh, top the north part of Isazaki Road, Meg Megumi's back. Hmm? Megami, me. I found 500 yen. Hey, you okay? You don't look so hot. Oh, Kasuga-san! No, I'm alright. You sure? You shouldn't overwork yourself, you know? I'm sure. I have to do this for Makun. <coughs> hey, Megumi! Megumi! Are you okay? Hi, Dad. Hi, Mom. Yeah, I'm okay. I have to keep earning donations. You should take it easy for now. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Let's get you home. Listen to your mother, sweetheart. Okay. I'm so sorry to get you involved in all of this. Would you happen to be Kasuga-san? Mm -hmm. What gave it away? Megami's told us a lot about you. She said a friendly man with shrub hair has been helping her out. Oh, yeah. Thanks to your help, she's had great success in gathering donations. We wanted to express our gratitude earlier, but... No, oh, it's no problem. But what about Megami? I know it's for her little brother, but don't you think she might be working too hard? She must have heard my wife and I talking about our financial troubles and taken it upon herself to... Make things better. We're here now because we were contacted by her school. It seems she hadn't been showing up lately. I'm skipping school to collect donations for her brother. I'm ashamed it took us so long to find out. Don't overdo it yourself, all right? Yes, I'll certainly try. Thank you. Well, I'd better get back to work. Once again, thank you for today. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me. No, Megumi had it that bad. Maybe there's something I can do. I know. I'll give her that 500 yen I found. If only I had a million yen I'd recently donated and could have had paid back. <laughs> hey. 
Anyway, yeah. Ah. If you leave and come back, I don't know, go get a honk honk or something. You'll be back. But no box this time. That's good to hear, but where'd you guys get the money? Hmm? You guys didn't invest in giant cleaning robots, did you? Because I don't think that's going to get you a very good ROI. They bought stock in Tesla. Okay. Ah. I can't, we can't do the GameStop joke anymore. Well, let's go bail her dad out. I think you can see it in the distance, but this this location is like right down the street from the Hello Work. Hmm. Hi. Don't worry, Megami. We'll make sure he he comes out with all of his fingers. Hold on. See, this is what happens when you don't properly decorate. Kids immediately figure it out. Yeah, you just gotta put up all these bright colors, maybe have a couple plants splashed around everywhere. Yeah, entertainer makes outside. Makes it a lot harder to... <laughs> makes it a lot harder to, uh, see past everything, but then again, that all costs money, so... Can't, can't afford to invest in the 300 yen plants. Huh? I mean, that's 300 yen that could be lining their pockets. You know, invest in yourself. Okay. <laughs> Go! 
trust in them. Scared. All right, let's fuck some dudes up. The gun from suck to fuck. I feel like machine gun fire should uh have a chance of, of like scaring the um the other enemies. I would have assumed like they didn't. I didn't see it. Does it cause bleed? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh my god. Apparently, <laughs> apparently whatever Nachi just did does cause bleed though. <laughs> well, you know, chainsaw, kinda. <laughs> that I would have expected. Chainsaw, electric guitar, same thing, right? <laughs> no. Anyways, it's all good. You're just in my indentured servitude now, friend. Sir, let me just hire you. You can earn the money by working uh, for me. <laughs> you make money hand over fist at Ichiban Holdings? I mean, the fact that that wasn't an explored avenue is strange. Yeah, I... The whole Ichiban being the CEO of a successful company thing just really does not come up in anything. It's like, he should be kind of a minor celebrity uh, through Yokohama. <laughs> At the very least. Do you think maybe it's just that they didn't have confidence in like people wanting to do the minigame? Probably, or they didn't want to like bother writing up uh, scenarios where, uh, for these uh, sub-stories where people recognize him from commercials or whatever. Yeah, but like you just make the sub-stories appear after you become the celebrity. You don't have to... You don't have to create two different dialogue chains. Yes, that's an option too, but then you lock, or then you force people to play the, the sub story. Yeah, but I mean, to get, if I wanted to get all the sub stories, I had to do, you know, every last one Yo. before them. One yes, sub story only opens true. until you do all the other ones, you know? Yeah, fine. And and really, a lot of, a lot of sub stories require, like, a lot of uh, liquid cash anyway. Which you're probably going to be getting from Ichiban Holdings. Not to mention that, like, there's also uh, some stories and, like, captures or whatever that only happen if you, like, grab bugs. But if, if you don't know to grab the bugs or whatever and to, like, trade those <laughs> in, you're not going to level up certain things. So, you know, you have to, you kind of have to look at a guide unless you just, like, happen to collect literally everything. In this game, yeah, at least nothing's missable. Like, if this isn't to say that, like, the, I, I don't mean that as like a criticism necessarily of the game. Like, you can just have a lot in in your game, and also like it's an RPG. There's gonna be stuff that's like convoluted or tough to find or whatever. There's no way to please everybody listen in this scenario. But right, right. Why, like, if if Ichiban holding and doing that, like getting to the top there, is like the breaking point for people. Then I don't know. It's it strikes me as a little strange. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna go uh, field the rest of the uh, the, the costs for Makun surgery. He, coincidentally, he also needs a million yen. Sorry. Yeah.
It's a good thing there's only one sick child on this in this area named Masashi. In this old in this whole uh, child hospital, there's only one sick kid. Named Masashi. <laughs> Like, boy, it would suck if you donated a million yen to the wrong child. Okay. <laughs> or if the nurse looked inside the bag and took the money. That too. Hi. But you know what? Th this series is, uh... What's the word? It's not... S I don't think it's uh, cynical enough to, d to pull that kind of thing on us. <laughs> For the most part. Mm. Anyway, now that we're done with that, let's go check on Megumi. Kasuga-san! Uh, hello again, Kasuga-san. Hey, you seem like you're doing better today. Guess what? Makun's surgery was a success! We're about to go see him! No way! That's great news! Yep! And I have this! It's a letter from someone who helped Makun. I wanted you to hear it too. I think it's amazing how much you cared for and supported each other. This donation isn't much, but please put it toward Masashi-san's surgery. Know that there are people who understand the distances you've gone, and that we support you and want your family to be whole again. Isn't that nice? I'm glad we worked so hard. Yeah, really, you did a great job. So now that your little brother's had a surgery, I bet you're all done with donation work, huh? Not exactly. I want to return the favor to those who helped Makun by helping others now. So, I'm going to continue doing donation work. Oh yeah? That's very Megumi of you. I'm sure the person who sent that letter would be happy to hear that. We have to get going now, dear. Yeah, it's about that time. Well, Kasuga-san, thank you again for all that you've done for us. Anytime. See you around. Kasuga-san! Thank you so much. Uh, you're welcome. See ya! Is it just me? Or has that kid grown up since I first met her? Go be a good big sister. Take care, Megami. And as a reward for doing all that, we can call Megami on po uh, pound mates now. They shouldn't call it pound mates. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Time to call a friend. I summon you. Kasuga sounds in trouble. Please, won't you help him? It's not worth. Please. Kasuga. Spirit bomb! Just gonna, <laughs> just gonna literally suck the money out of these people! Thank you! Please put it to good use! And yes, you do get that money. This is gonna turn out to be like some way to cheese the game by fighting the final boss and only calling in uh, Megumi? You just be like, every time you use it, you gain 5 million yet. 